Hello and welcome to another Hextom video tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the currency features available in the Translate My Store and Currency app. This feature allows customers to browse your products in their local currency, including at checkout. So if we go to my test store right now, we can see that my lovely catalog of example products are all available just in Canadian dollars. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the admin and I'm going to go to Settings, I'm going to go Payments, and then I'm going to go to Shopify Payments and hit Manage. Then I'm going to scroll down to this section, the Countries and Regions section, and this is where we can add more countries and regions to the store. So I'm going to add the United States, I'm going to add France, and I'm also going to add Germany. This is also the section where you can edit the exchange rate. I'm just going to use the automatic one here. Or an individual price adjustment for certain regions. So now, returning to the app, we can see that all the regions and currencies I added are showing up here in the region currency list in the regions and currencies page. So now that they're here, we can go to the selector and we can enable some new options. So we can go with just the regions and currencies selector, or also the one that includes languages. So let's try just regions and currencies for now. I'm going to scroll down and hit save. So now if I go to my test store preview, we can see that I can change currencies right here in the bottom right hand corner. So I can change it to euros, the prices have changed change it to American dollars or back to Canadian. I'm also going to show you here what it looks like if we have the language and region slash currency selector. Here I am back at the store with the example products and I can go down here and you can see I can change both the language and the currency. I'm gonna switch to United States dollars Everything still works, of course. Switch back to Euros. And what's also really great about this app is that it works on the checkout. So you can see here, example product 2 already in my cart. If I go to checkout, the 7.95 Euros is still going to be what we see. And here it is. We can see that the Euros currency conversion is still here. My store's default currency is, of course, Canadian dollars, and it has not been switched back. We still have Euros. That's everything for today. As always, you can reach us at help at if you have any questions or concerns.